Hey guys, what's up? John here from fly8mikealpha.com and today we're taking a quick look at carburetor ice, what it looks like when you get it in the airplane, and then what you do to get rid of it. So we're going to go ahead and take a look here at the actual airplane as we develop a little bit of carburetor ice in nice humid conditions because what is the prime conditions to get it anywhere between 20 degrees Fahrenheit and 70 degrees Fahrenheit with high humidity? That's when it is likely to occur. So how do we know that we're getting carburetor ice? Well, first, we're going to just you'll be cruising along, minding our own business, and we're gonna notice that, say we have 1700 RPM set here, coming in on a nice long descent, maybe we notice that RPM starts slowly decreasing. So without touching the throttle at all, on this fixed pitch propeller airplane, it's a little different on a constant speed propeller airplane, but with this fixed pitch propeller airplane, we see that at RPM 1700, and slowly as we pick up carburetor ice, it decreases little by little, maybe a 50, 100 RPM, Enough for you to notice it though, right? Enough for you to hear the engine rolling back. Enough for you to notice the decrease in power. Maybe you go to full power and you just don't get full power out of it. So you go ahead and pull carburetor heat and you notice as you pull carburetor heat, the engine runs a little rough, but then it slowly starts to build that RPM back as it melts away that ice. So initially you pull carburetor heat, you get a further drop in RPM, but as that ice melts away, it slowly picks back up the RPM that it was missing because that carburetor ice was closing up the carburetor throat, it was the same as actually closing the throttle, so actually pulling the throttle back, you're restricting the airflow to the engine through the carburetor. Now you can go ahead and turn the carburetor heat off, you get that final extra increase in power, all the carburetor ice is gone, you're back to normal, and all is well. So that's what it looks like, and for the written test, what I want you to know is it occurs between 20 degrees and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It can occur at other temperatures, but is likely between 20 degrees and 70 degrees Fahrenheit, outside air temperature to pick up carburetor ice, and high humidity certainly contributes to it. Definitely pretty rare to get this in Arizona. Not that it's impossible, but low humidity, there's not a lot of moisture in the air, so not a lot of water to make the ice in the first place. If you like this video, go ahead and check out fly8mikealpha.com, check out the Private Pilot Ground School, and check out the entire Private Pilot written test prep course. We guarantee that when you take our courses, you will pass your written exam and pass your Private Pilot check ride. We have a 100% pass rate with all of our students, not a single one has ever failed their written or failed their check ride. Who else out there can give you that sort of guarantee? So go ahead and check out the course, flyatmikehealth.com. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already to our YouTube channel, keep up with our latest videos. And as always, guys, if you can't fly every day, then fly8mikealpha.com. We'll see y'all next time.